You guys, welcome back. Barb's talking to us now about what you want to have in your emergency evacuation kits. And we have, obviously, this table is way too small for all the items. But I want to make sure and point out, this all fit in a relatively small box. You, you can get a lot of stuff in a small amount of space, and it could be something. It could be the things that save your life. So, Barb, explain to us some of the stuff that we've got here and why is it important. So this is part of my three-day kit, and this is what I, I like to have fun. Don't you like to have fun? I, I mean, do, I know it's a disaster, but and not all, a but, disaster. I mean, yeah, in but, a disaster. Okay. But, you know, but we're, we're going camping. Right. It's not a disaster. We're going camping. So think we're going on a camping trip. What do we need for three days? So okay. now we're having fun, right? And in fact, I would say, and this is what I'd try to do. I create a kit that would be good for camping or disasters. So you keep it in your car for um, year round and or you have a, a kit, this is a bigger kit, this is the kind you would keep at your home, um, but you want to have it near a doorway so it's easy to get in, easy to get out. In fact, you could have it on wheels. It could be in a cooler or a trash can or, you know, I have a crate here. Uh -huh. So anyway, so in here we have, of course, a stove because again, power is going to be down. You're going to want to have some way to Gee. cook up your precious life-giving <laughs> fluid. <laughs> Yes, the French press. <laughs> this yeah. might be an optional piece in the kit. Huh? Okay, okay. For this some people, like you and I, no, it's no, not no, optional. This is first. But for first some in. others, maybe, yeah. <laughs> first aid kit. This is number one on the list. So you're going to want to have a battery-powered radio. Powered radio. Pa uh, radio powered. Battery-powered yep. radio. Because that's I experienced it, and that is that power goes out, so you go to your stereo. It doesn't work. Internet's down. Your one other option is you can listen to your radio in the car for emergency updates. Oh, but this is important to have, and you can have NOAA, um, you know, a weather radio on here, too. Mm -hmm. So AM, FM, and uh, uh that okay yeah, so obviously we're going to want to have three days of food and mm -hmm. food that we can cook up easily you know that doesn't require either and it has a long shelf life right. because this yep. might be sitting in a closet or right. like you said in a pantry or fridge or something for a long time three days of water so per person a gallon of water per person per day and i might add gallon per person per day yep. okay and for me animal so, you and know, your you animals, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, they need it. So speaking of animals, of course, you have to have your little kit going with food, leashes. You're, um, you're going to want to have easy access to, if needed, like I have a cat as well. So you're going to want to have a, a little kitty box. And I have a tip on pets. Immediately at that midnight time, what I did was confine my pets into one room because they're much more sensitive than we are. They have a lot stronger sense of mm -hmm. smell and they have a sense of flight. So cats and dogs and many other animals will run away if they sense danger. danger right. So you're going to want to put them in an area where you can grab them if you need to go in 10 minutes that you can get them you know, into their carrier and into the car and go. Okay, okay. So good point. Make sure they're already contained yep. in case you do have to evacuate. And of course, yes, maps. Yes, what do you have here? We have maps of the area, and you're always going to want to have alternative plans because the area you want to leave may be impacted. Right. So you're going to want to have an alternative plan. And again, what about your family members? Where are you going to reconnect with them if you're separated? You might have a couple meeting places in town. One might be on the east end, one might be on the west end. So if the east end is out, then you've got the west end. Okay. Well, this is my, what I call my evacuation thing. And this is just a little demonstration model. I actually have a list now. If you had to evacuate, if you had to be out of your house in five minutes, what do you have to take with you? If you you're definitely going to want to have food and water, but you know, let's say you've got that all handled or you're going to Aunt Betty's house and you know you've got food and water and bedding covered. So I'm now going to focus on what are the things if I lose everything I can't live without. And you know, you're going to pull out your treasured, your awards, and then... You, you know my it's, Emmy. Uh, <laughs> 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 you know, this is my grandparents' wedding picture. Oh, right. And you know, I've got beautiful framed art on my wall, but that quickly when I had to evacuate, that stuff stuff I can replace, this stuff I can't. Mm -hmm. This, or like my, my niece, the picture of my niece and I wearing our matching cool shades, yeah, you know, that yeah. you can't live without. Say you had some either family heirlooms or trinkets that you got in Africa, yeah. you know, now I know that's the very small stuff. things that you know you're not go that have tremendous significance to you that you're right, not going to be able yeah. to replace. Probably also things that are, uh, if you if you have a copy of maybe your living will, Absolutely. Or things that are really yes. important that yep. way. Your passport and those for every member of your family or documentation, do you have titles to your cars, any critical legal papers, um, your tax 
you know, backup. Uh -huh. I mean, I hate to say it, but if you had time, right. you would want to go there if okay. you could. And, and then also this medication. Is, yeah, I was yeah, just going to say. This is you essential. Got that in there. And when I evacuated my neighbor, he said, I said, I'll take you to the shelter. Don't worry. He said, what do I need? And I said, go get all of your medicines. Do you have medicines? And he said, yes. And it, it's really important because, he, and I said, and your, and your ID. So if he needed replacement medicines. I mean, that's something in the short term, in three days, that you would definitely need if you're a shelter. And of course, you're going to want to have, if you have, um, you know your address book so a way to contact people let people um, know you, yeah, you are you okay bet. that yep. sort of thing well we only have a couple of remaining minutes and Barb I wanted to ask where should somebody go because right now before something happens get prepared where should they go on probably online to be able to get maybe a list of all of the things that they really should think about and consider. Ready.gov. Ready.gov. So, and that's any community in the United States. Ready.gov has, they have a really great evacuation list template. There's an excellent, um, you know, uh, family planning template. So you can put down all your meeting places and kind of work through it with your family and practice it. It's got, you know, a little list of what should be in your three-day kit. Great. So that's a really good one-stop shop. Usually your local fire department or police department um, will have some things as well, but just when you're home, it's really easy to get right to that. And if you just take care of that piece of it, I think that would just make a, a world of difference. Great. All right. Well, good advice. So ready.gov or your local fire department, start there, two very good places. And Barb, as always, it's a pleasure to see you. Great really to appreciate see you. you coming on. So you guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you right here next time on Lookalike. John Compton here saying thanks again for watching. And remember, if you've got a guest idea, let us know. Just visit localite.com.